Welcome back to Stellar Blade. Welcome back to Stellar Blade. I actually, believe it or not, as the one who almost never does commentary because I don't fucking talk when I play games, have very good and somewhat unfortunate news to share about this game for the first bit of recording. There are three factoids that I can share. You can start the game. Um, first off, we will start, we will go in the order that I learned about these things. Um... <laughs> um, so, Already. first off, uh, tits. No, um, I woke up, like, a little less than a week ago, and on my Google feed, I, it's like, the article was like... Should we head down again? No. It was like, Stellar Blade versus Stellar Blade, and I'm like, what the fuck? So, apparently, in Louisiana, there is a film company called Stellar Blade, and they are suing Shift Up, the makers of this game, <laughs> and Sony... Because after this game came up, you can't, if you look up Stellar Blade, this comes up and you can't find their thing, and yeah. the guy's pissed. Have you ever heard of Stellar Blade? Nope. I sure the fuck haven't. Apparently they've done enough stuff that they can try to sue Sony. <laughs> but also, and they're like, oh, it's like stylized, very similar with the text font, and I looked up the logo and I was like, no the fuck it isn't! <laughs> like, it was like similar, like the S's. But also, theirs is like one, uh, two words, and this is one word. And then they're like, "Oh, they could have, they should have just gone with the original name of this game, which was uh, Project Eve." Which is like, yeah, that has more to do with the fucking game. Uh oh. But like, Stellar Blade's a great title. This game's amazing. Fuck off, Louisiana. Um. So then. I didn't see, like, Sony or Shift Up, and it's like, yeah, I can understand how it's like Sony might possibly have heard about you. There's no way in hell some fucking South Korean fucks heard about your stupid Louis. Like, they don't even know what Lu Louisiana is. Aha! Not even looking at the controller, I remember what the buttons are. I don't play um, PlayStation games. Is my sword my hair clip? Yes. How have I not noticed that before? So she has fingernails on her gloves. Yeah. And... Alright. Um, Where am I going? And birthing hips. Uh, <laughs> uh, Shut I'm right. Yeah. You can't open that in the combat. There's an enemy behind you. Oh, hi. Um, so then, two days after that, this game announces something. One would think it's them announcing that, you know, they didn't do anything fucking wrong against Louisiana, because fuck Louisiana. Uh, no, they announced DLC for this game. Oh. Not only DLC, but a lot of people said this game is very similar and stylized very similar to another very popular game. The DLC is Stellar Blade cr Cross Near. Nah. So, there'll be, like, automata outfits, and, um, outfits, I think there was, like, two outfits for Eve were getting added, it might have been more, they just showed two, one for the drone, uh, and what looked, they didn't announce a price or a date, and what looks like an entire new area in the game. So that's really exciting. And then a couple days ago, and you kind of saw this already, um, this game got its first major update. I think it's first major update. Because uh, apparently there was like some summer event thing that they were doing. And they had it. They have it now so that you can toggle it on in the menu to just have it. Oh. Um, and it like added like some new mini game, I think, in like the second oh. open world area. And um, it added things so it's like if you, in shops, if you spend over a certain amount of money, it'll ask, are you sure? So you don't accidentally spend all your fucking money. Which money shouldn't be a problem in this game for you. Because you kind of get money for everything. And, um, uh... They added it so you could, like, favorite outfits and equipment. So it's always, like, at the top and you don't have to go through the menus to find it. Yeah. Uh, and then they, like fix the physics, so I think her, like, ponytail doesn't freak out as much when it's full length. Well, that's cool. But I don't know, because I think she looks better with the short ponytail. Yeah. Um, and then in other news, 
after this is a decent amount of time after we first recorded this, like, I like, was like, yeah. man, I really like this game. I don't want to play through it again. So I did. I made a second account and I started playing through it again. First of all, in the area you're in, already at this point, do you know how, like, when you were in that flooded area? Yes. And there was that person that you got that they gave you, if you collect enough, they give you the upgrade? That was, like, the fourth one in this area. <laughs> it's, like, the amount of, like, by the time I got to that point, I already had a full health upgrade. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, you missed a lot of shit, but, like, you you can come back here whenever. Well, yeah, I missed a lot of shit, but that's just how I normally play games. Yeah, no. Um, and it's not like that health upgrade is important yet. <laughs> if I need it, we can always just pause recording and come back to this. No, because there's side quests to come back here and everything. Oh, uh, that is... Well, like, I mean, like, if it's, like, a, a specially egregious boss. No, no, there was no boss up to that point. The first boss in that area was... I just um, need, uh, to keep skill in mind uh, and try to... No, I'm pretty sure the first boss in this area was... Was it... Did you fight Syringer? I don't remember. The guy with the fucking... Open your menu. Wrong button. Uh, go over to databank. Down to Natiba. Yeah, you fought Syringer. It's... Abaddon is the first boss. Then you fight Cor Corruptor. And then there's one more boss in this area, I believe. Gotcha. Um, I'm at the point in my playthrough, I do not want to admit, I did do nothing but play that game for like three days straight. <laughs> um, I'm not close to like 100%ing it. But I do have like half of the, out like more than half of the outfits you can get on the first playthrough. Mm. I think I have all the accessories you can get. I don't know. I think I'm missing like one or two. I have all the hairstyles. Um, I have practically every piece of equipment available. <laughs> um, I have the major. I have like ninety percent of all like when you went in that menu and it's like all that shit. I have like ninety percent of all that stuff. Um, I don't have every Natiba, but I'm in the last area of the game, and the last Natiba on the list are just ones I haven't encountered there yet. And if this is gonna make any sense to you. Uh, or really anybody at this point, uh, unless they've seen or played this game before, but let's be real, uh, like, who the fuck is watching? Uh, but... <laughs> hey, we had six people watch our first episode of this. This is, like, the first game no, well, that, we played with actual decent audio. Well, yeah. Realistically, if somebody does watch this, it'll probably be later if we ever actually do get yeah. a standing. Um, and this is definitely a game I'd like to revisit. Uh, yeah. New Game Plus, because New Game Plus, this game has one of the best New Game Pluses, and that's not just me saying that. That is literally like this game like was like praised for its New Game Plus. But I'm um, uh, it's a robot. Yeah, kill it. You're about to die. From what? That thing just exploded. Up. You're out of heels. Hold up. The tumblers will always... I don't think you have, like... The other ones, like, you have to have them to, like, get them restored. Tumblers, I'm pretty sure they just restore... Oh, God. Three. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have, like, I have like eight. <laughs> Seven or eight on my playthrough. Um... Oh god, just the fucking... I'm sorry, just... For how much I played this game, and then going back to your HUD compared to mine is insane. Because, <laughs> like, I, I shit you not, my health bar probably goes almost halfway across the screen. <laughs> yeah. And then it's like, I have... Where it's like, you have your uh, beta energy skills. Uh, there's, like, upgrade, like a, another type of those that I have. And then there's like another circle over near the tumblers. Uh, and then above the beta energy, there's another type of energy that you get. Yeah. Um, I did learn the story of this game. Like, if you just go through and do the main stories of this game, it's like, you, uh, you're you not going to get this because you don't play games. Uh, Fallout 4. 
You can beat the story of that game in, like, three fucking hours. <laughs> yeah. Like, literally, I didn't realize how short the story of this game is. This game is about doing the side quest. That green dot means you can do something, by the way. Uh, go to Eve. The green dot. Uh, there was a green dot. Oh, yeah, you can do that. Hold X. I was just looking up. Yeah. Yeah, um... And now your weapon does more deals more damage. Oh, nice. I can fuck so hard now. My cock is rock solid. Also, yeah, my you'll... sword is better. Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yes, level game, and my proudest right. achievement that I've done is... And granted, once in mind, the one I am missing is in the area I'm in. I did not miss it, I just haven't gotten to it yet. Because I stopped playing this game because Epic Mickey rebrushed and um, Echoes of Wisdom came out. <laughs> but I'm, uh... Um, I have 47 out of the 40... No. 40, yeah, 47 out of the 48 cans in the game. Mmm, gotcha. <laughs> Which I told pretend like I know what that means. Jake was ah, up. you've got more stickers now. Jake was. I got one more sticker. Two more. Oh yeah, no, you haven't been up here. I, I, I've had that cup since the last time you were here. But we have. For those at home, I have hentai stickers on my PS5. There's so many. There, there's like nine on the other side. There's more than nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight. Eight on the nine. Nine counting Bulbasaur. I have Bulbasaur is the one I like the most. Because I get non-branded. Um. I'm not naming the brand of them, even though I love them, because I want sponsor. Um, uh, the brand of energy yeah, drink you don't I get. Do a bit. That we've. Oh, I absolutely will. If they'll give me free shit. <laughs> um, even if they don't. <laughs> even if they don't. Sponsored by Skittles. Not sponsored. Realistically, if they just give me a fucking like handshake, I'll sponsor their shit because I I think it's genuinely a great product. Um, I buy a powderized energy drink. Realistically, in our friend group, you're the only one who doesn't <laughs> yes. buy this brand. But um, I also buy, they sell uh, hentai cups. Uh, they're not like actual hentai, they're like hentai adjacent. Like, they're wearing clothing, technically. Um, they're uh, etchy. Oh, is that what that is? Etchy cups? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I didn't realize that's what etchy, etchy is meant. Etchy is basically hentai. But, okay, uh, so Etchy is the... Why am I the, discussing this with you? You're the etchy, No, you I'm sorry, because that's something me and Jake do. Is we love saying almost hentai because it's fucking hilarious. Uh, etchy is the word for it, though, right? Yeah. Okay, so they're Etchy cups. And they all, except for like one of them, because it was like branded from a YouTuber or whatever, which is weird because another one of my YouTuber cups... Is it the Guara one? Huh? Guara? No, it is not. Um, I actually, the first one I got, I didn't, I don't watch that person. I just liked the cup and didn't realize it was a YouTuber. The second one is somebody that I actually would have been like, yeah, no, if I'm seen with this one, I'm not gonna be like, oh no, I don't watch them. I just did the design. It's like, yeah, I watch them like when they show up in my feed. I don't know where I'm going. Um, but it's like, yeah, they all come with stickers that have the design on them. Except I have some double-sided ones that it only comes with one side. Which is like, yeah, that's perfectly fine. Um, but they go on my PlayStation 5, because it has the most surface area. And um, on two separate occasions, I have been accidentally... There was two of the same sticker just faced up against each other. Uh, so the extra stickers go on my Xbox. <laughs> because there was no room on my laptop. And it was like, I take my laptop at the public. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's like it's like one thing when I you can jump on that bar. Also, I'm gonna tell you right now, there is a cricket behind that pillar, so be prepared to block. I blocked. Um. What was I talking to the cups? Yeah. Um. And I have them to the point now that there are eight of them on the side of my PlayStation without the disk drive of the hentai ones of the cups. And then I have two um, for Christmas, my one friend. One of the things they got me was uh, stickers. Uh, and it, there was a Bulbasaur and a Squirtle one. So I have those on that side too. And obviously... The Squirtle one makes sense. No, Bulbasaur is the hentai one. The Squirtle one is just like out of place. 
No, the Bulbasaur one's out of place. No, fuck you. Bulbasaur's the best starter in that game. No, no, no. No, it is. But you're not listening to it. I don't want no fucking... How does a squirrel turtle fucking fit on my It's thing? not a squirrel turtle. Fucking prove me. I don't it's know if you got that turtle. reference or not. It's squirrel turtle. Did you get that reference, though? Squirrel turtle? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna believe you. Uh, but just to point that it's there's no room on that side anymore, really. Um, like I can probably squeeze in one more, but uh, it started. They're on the other side now, so now they face us when we record. <laughs> it's distracting. If you look, actually, the one sticker is from the cup I'm drinking. Oh, that one's that actually being, pretty good. Yeah. Like that, that being said, this one, um, I Where have a am I? one that's uh, turn that pull. That pull. Yes. Ah, oh, you're smart. <laughs> no, no, I'm not smart because when I played this game the first time, I was like, what the fuck do I do? <laughs> you weren't supposed to do that. Um. Gee, I didn't notice. <laughs> this is the second to last area of this one, though. Kind of. No, there's like two more areas, but one of them's really short. And then the other one's just a fucking boss arena. Um, I like look like I'm throwing up. My uh, newest guy. cup, um, which I'm surprised my mom hasn't said anything about this one yet. Uh, it actually got delivered on vacation <laughs> while we were on vacation. Uh, so thankfully, my uh, my grandma is the one who had to pick the package and put it on the deck. Uh, thankfully, it was just um, a plain brown box. And she didn't open it. Not that I think she would care, because she's an old Italian woman, and she nothing fucking phases her. Like, she not only, like, doesn't have a fucking filter. It's like, most people would be like, oh, don't swear in front of babies, you don't want to repeat it. She was like, I'm gonna swear in Italian, so they're not smart enough to repeat it. Or they start swearing in Italian. No, swears in Italian are harder for babies to articulate. Not if they're Italian. Where it's like, bitch. Bitch is easier, or like, yeah, bitch would be easier for a baby to say than, uh, Cogna. And then, uh, fuck is Fungul. Uh -oh. I, like, stumbled ass backwards into what I was doing. But, I'm um, uh, my newest cup is themed, uh, it's a double-sided one that it is themed, like, night and day. And it's just two different girls in different rest. poses and bathing suits. Well, one of them is string and thong. The other one is in a bathing suit. Uh, and I got the uh, string and thong uh, version on the sticker. I assume you can get the other one. I don't know, though, because I, obviously I only have the one. Um, so, because I'm an evil sadistic prick, the sun side will be facing Max, so that way he gets both of them. And then the cup I got before that was um, like a painter. It was also front and back, that it was her front and back. I will say, that one is probably my favorite, because it she's wearing an apron, and she isn't wearing a top, it is just an apron and then, like, panties. And something in my fucking culinary brain is clicking when I see that. So I like that one. Because, yes, she's covered in paint and has, like, the beret and easel and everything in front of her. But the ape, the, the topless with apron will always be, that one's just straight up on you, um, will always, uh, neuron activate inside of me. But yeah, no, my mom is like, well, you buy way too fucking many of those. Now I'd be like, you buy way too much Betty Boop and Cherry stuff. And it's like, at least I'm buying something that will be useful, because, I mean, they're fucking cups. Cups are useful. I don't need to buy cups when I move out now. He right. And it's like, I have other cups. Like, over there, I have a Technoblade thermos. I have a D&D &D mug. I got a pirate plastic mug that I got on vacation when we went to, like, a dinner theater thing that was awesome. I got a Nuka Cherry bottle. I got a McDonald's cup. And I got my Godzilla Tiki. Which is this big old fucking ceramic Godzilla guy. And I used to drink soda out of him. 
but then I, because I had a fancy, Fuck. like, so, oh, I fucking love these puzzles. Later, it'll be, later, it'll be, like, it'll <sighs> randomly jump between them. Those are the ones that I, I don't, like, struggle with them, but it's, like, I, I'll cut close on time. Um, My brain just has to press the right button. When yeah, I want no, it to. it's the puzzle. The chest puzzles in this game are really good. I like this game. Do we need to take the lift? To go yes, up? Okay. yes. You had to come in here to turn on the lift. God. Which I assume you did because nothing's highlighted. The lift is on the other side. Yes, but this. Guy oh, I didn't know if you were wrapping around. Um. But it's like, yeah, no, she hasn't said anything about this oh, one, and I don't know if she just gave up. Uh, it was hilarious, because I brought, um, I technically brought two of these cups and the powdered drink on vacation with us. Uh, because I had one made that I had in the car with me, and then I just brought one to make while we were there. Uh, and that was the first time she, sh she saw the tub of the drink. <laughs> And I love it, because I was sitting in my bed, and I heard her talking with my brother's girlfriend, she was like, Oh, fucking good God! <laughs> <laughs> and then I walked into the kitchen, and she had it fucking turned around facing the wall. <laughs> oh, I fucking love my parents. <laughs> because then my dad will also be like, Oh, come on, like, it, it's like, it benefits all of us. Because <laughs> my dad's a fucking dad's ass. A my, psycho. Dad's, my dad's a fucking psychopath. <laughs> That is awesome. My mom would be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And I was like, you fucking chose him. It was like, he was worse when you met him. <laughs> so I need to get... But it's like, there. really, none of like you guys have like sat down with my dad. While it's like, my brother's oh. friend group, which I am now a part of. Uh, because they adopted me. <laughs> which, to be fair, our friend, uh, Cece. That was Sophie's friend. She graduated with Sophie, and then she moved into Jake's friend group. Which means, after a while, there's a good chance Cece's gonna start hanging out with us. <laughs> uh, Cece's fun. She's the one who's the surgeon's aide that ah. always tells amazing yes. stories during D&D. Like that time she had to take a fucking dildo through a guy's colon. <laughs> <laughs> I ha I have had to have told that story in recording. But no, it was a. Uh, no, I think you told me that story on the way to Chicago. I I don't know. I fucking love that story. Uh, if I didn't tell it on recording, I think I did. But I'm uh, <laughs> it was awesome that uh, she taught me that patient confidentiality means that you could tell everything that happened as long as you don't say the patient's name. <laughs> so what happened was someone came in to the ER for an emergency surgery. Because they had a fucking vibrating dildo stuck in their ass. Uh, and they're like, oh, okay, this is not, like, you know, that uncommon of a thing. Sure. Unfortunately. Uh, but, apparently, this person waited, like, three fucking days. So it had moved its way so far up their anus that they couldn't pull it out that way. That it would have been easier, so they had to fucking cut him open and make an incision in his col uh, colon and pull it through his body. <laughs> and then they put it in a bucket and it fucking turned on in the bucket. <laughs> uh... I broke him. And then we proceeded to play d and I just saw the door. The door? Oh, do buddy. You don't worry, you found- <laughs> Open. Where are you? I've been trying to jump up a wall for like five no, minutes. Buddy, buddy, buddy. <laughs> you found this whole area you're in way sooner than I did. <laughs> <laughs> I ran around for maybe 15 minutes being like, where the fuck do I go? Uh, enemies will are behind you, by the way. More. So Cece's fun. She tells amazing stories. And then also, um, people at home will be like, oh, you're a fucking nerd, but it's like, I don't give a shit, you know what I'm about. We're playing video games on the internet, of course we are, and I'm talking about fucking etchy cups, so. 
We're playing a game with hot ass. Yeah, we are. Our D and D campaign that my brother is running, that we are part of, is based in like One Piece rules. It's not based in the show. Nothing in the show happens in the thing. That being said, Keelan has voice of all things, and that developed into he just knows One Piece canon. <laughs> Which, I've given up on watching One Piece, by the way. I can't sit through fucking Wano anymore. Why? It's so boring. You don't like Wano? I guess you're at the point where no fighting has started. It's so boring. Act two of Wano fucking drags. <laughs> it's so I will. I will give you that. Boring. <laughs> Act two. Fucking drag. <laughs> but it's act so long. Genuinely, I watched though, the guy who smiles all the time die, and Zora goes, "You're laughing at all of them. You're laughing at him. A man just died." And the woman's like, "No, no, cool your tits, Zora. They can um, only smile." Oh, you're then you're almost done with Act Two. I know. I think. I but... think. <laughs> Act, uh, genuinely, if you were like still interested in One Piece, you could probably just skip to Act Three. I'm just gonna read One Piece. <laughs> just read it, yeah. No, <laughs> I'm just reading it. Keelan doesn't watch it; he just reads it, to my knowledge. Um, Luffy Awakening was oh, awesome, fuck. but in the One Piece campaign, my character is a cypherpole agent, and one of the party members is a Lunarian, and that's the whole reason I'm there. But the thing is. The current villain we're fighting fucking revealed that, like, in-game, three days ago, and nobody nice. gives a shit. Except for you. No, because no, my character is like, I'm not like, I don't like, like them, they're pirates, they go against everything I hate and stand for, but why the fuck are they still, like, I share a room with them, because we're in a casino, I share a room with them, and... Technically sleep with them. I'm a cyborg. I don't have to sleep. I just perform maintenance, so I'm awake the whole time. But I could sleep. They don't fucking care. <laughs> like, as far as Keelan's our captain, as far as he is concerned, I'm still, like, one of the head people who calls shots and is, like, whenever, like, we split up to do shit in a wider range, I'm always, like, whenever I'm in a group, if he isn't in the group, I'm the one who's in charge there. And they all know I'm a world government agent there to arrest one of them. <laughs> Which, like, was so fucking funny, because last time we played, we... Now, normally, Jacob's like, don't... Like, we're... And we know don't split up, because Jacob will put us in full encounters designed for the whole party if we're split up, even. Which, <laughs> twice, that has acted against him. Because the one time he did it, uh, it was just me and Keelan and technically Angel, but she wasn't there. She was playing remotely because she was driving home from work. Or she was, like, at work or something. No, she, yeah, because she's a she was a delivery driver, and she was doing it while she was in the car. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. And, uh, we fought the thing, and we were like, and, like, I'm a, he, he does guns, I do swords. And it's like, if you melee attack the creature, you took, like, fire damage. Yeah. But it was, like, so little. And then one of them dropped dead way sooner before we did. And there was two of them. And we were like, oh, we got this. So, like, Keelan just started fucking guns bl Like, we stopped trying to run from the fight. And it's like, Keelan's just, like, you know, shitting there fucking shooting. I'm just up in its face taking fire damage as I'm hacking at it. And then the other time, same island. Also just me. This time it was literally just me and Keelan. Uh, and we beat the, like, the main encounter of that island before anybody else showed up. <laughs> so Jacob just, like, stopped keeping track of his health. And, um, you can change camera. Uh, he stopped keeping track of his health and just waited for everyone else to get there and at least do some damage before killing him. But we had already killed the fucker. <laughs> um. What am I trying to accomplish? You want to get over there. Down there where the blue light is from that platform. For those at home, I'm pointing at the screen. Yes, thank you for the commentary. Um, so, you want that one closer to that side. So, 
just like just push it as far down as you can and then as far forward as you can perfect and then just move that one down next to it Uh, and then, like, over as far as... And then down as far as you can. Done. Perfect. You got it. Let's go to where you placed the structure. Now, if only I had any fucking idea where that was. Stop. It's up there. Up that ladder. Ah, I did not see the ladder. One fucking job. I was going to say, you literally just have to fucking touch the ladder from any side and she'll grab onto it. I was going to say, you can jump up ladders, but why would you? <laughs> yeah, I want to as much right as there. possible. Eve. Eve. <laughs> Calm the fuck down. <laughs> yeah, this game doesn't do small movements very well. <laughs> You've mentioned. <laughs> Where ladder? You could go back. You can climb up these. Oh. Uh, like I said, uh, even though I don't know how hard you were paying attention to Resident Evil 7 and 3 when we played it, even though we didn't upload that, did we? We didn't upload 3, we uploaded seven. most of 7. Yeah, most of 7. I think I forgot to upload the final part or like the final oh, two parts. Job. I was about to say, I don't know if you're talking because we didn't do the <laughs> DLC. Ah, okay. Eve. <laughs> Buddy, do you need me to do this? <laughs> no, I got it. But yeah, no, it's just my character is fucking baffled by the fact that everyone in the fucking pirate party knows I'm a world government agent there to just like kind of fuck up their day. And then they're just like treating me Excellent. almost we're better almost <laughs> than they were before. <laughs> What are you doing? Help. <laughs> My brain am small. Help. You're, uh, the area after the sewage tunnel is where you fight the boss of this area. Oh, gotcha. And I'm curious, because there is an optional area in this game. Not optional in the sense that, like, you don't have to go there. But optional in the sense of... If you don't do a specific thing, you just don't get the option to go there. Gotcha. But, like, realistically, it is, in my opinion, so fucking hard to miss it. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh... Yeah. Yeah, end of this episode, I assume? Yeah, um, until next time. Wait, okay, I didn't see, like, the, the, like, shirt lines on that last one. On what one? On that one. So I thought that sticker just didn't have nipples on it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs>